This is Duncan from Dunksweb.com. Before I start, because Dunksweb's been overridden with gaming stuff, I'm moving over to DigitalDojos.com to post my technology content, and also on the Digital Dojos YouTube channel. So please go ahead and subscribe to that if you're interested in other technology videos. The how-tos will remain on this channel, but this will be something definitely worth subscribing to. I'll provide the link in the description. With that said, talking about how-tos, this is how to get the start button back on Windows 8. As you know, in my last review, I was pissed because the start button wasn't there and it was very difficult to find things. Now, it has been circling around the blogs that Stardock has actually come out with a program called Start 8. And uh, I'm not a big fan of this because it mainly looks like a mini version of Metro. This is what Windows 8 plus Start 8 looks like and it still has that problem where you can't really find what you need really quickly and it, for example if I want to go to start then computer I can't even see it. So if you guys have heard of something called Vice Start, this is actually a Windows 7 uh, style start menu for Windows XP. It has been updated to work with Windows 8 and it works and looks exactly like that. So if I go ahead and press the button, you can see it looks exactly like the Windows 7. So if you're looking to get that look back, you can go ahead and download Vice Start. It will add that start button for you. There's a little caveat at the moment. Uh, we have the recent items, you go to click it and it doesn't do anything. However, if I want to go to computer, you can see it's opened up Explorer there and uh, there is the computer and uh, also if you were to put this into the small taskbar area it looks a little bit glitchy but it does work so you can see that the start button doesn't look exactly in line with the taskbar but it still works and it definitely brings out that stuff that you need instead of having to go through the metro and find what you want to do. So that pretty much is bringing the Windows 7 start menu back onto Windows 8 uh, so you can go ahead and start using this as a proper desktop instead of keep switching backwards and forwards from that Metro interface. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.